Okay, once more again, this is Namdi Mwibwe in Coral Draw Design Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to actually show you how to, or teach you how to save and explain more about the type of file if you want to save in your Coral Draw and just, okay, maybe two, three important files that you need in Coral Draw most of the time to, uh, to uh, uh, designing in Coral Draw. Okay. And um, now this, I have a, a kind of a design that I just made for my client, which is in front of me, just a, a kind of a, a small logo. Okay, so when you finish your design and uh, 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 Corel Draw, at the menu bar, the front of the menu bar, you have, you click, you go to your file, you have open, you have close, you have close all, you have save, you have save as. So, Okay, I open, I, if I click on open, it means I want to open any particular file I have designed in CorelDRAW. I can see all the files I have designed in CorelDRAW. I can decide to choose anyone and click on open and it will open. Alright, so I can still click, click on my file again, click on close, the entire, this entire window will close. Then if I click on save, it means I want to save it. So if I click on save as, it means that I have designed something i reopen this particular project and click on save as because i changed something in it and i don't want to overwrite the previous one that i did what that i've designed in it so i can just click on save as to actually uh, save it so this particular project is going to be you're going to have it what two so import means if you want to import any particular type of file to your corral draw you can equally use copy and paste you can go to your your desktop you can just copy any type of file at all and come back to your computer and right click and click on paste and decide to paste it you can increase it and do anything you want to do with it all right so that is it so you go back again so after when you finish designing in Corel Draw, you can set design to print it out print your work out you can set your paper to uh, how you want it to be go to Print, you have your print, you have your print image, you have your print preview. So if you click on print preview, it's coming. So you'll actually see how it looks like. How it looks like exactly. So you can adjust another thing if you want this particular to fit to your paper, depending to you want your objects to actually fit the particular paper that you're designing on. You set it you actually want it to be at the center, the uh, top center, you set it want it to be at the bottom you can equally do what sets it or as in document this is as in document exactly the way it is already set in your document you can be able to actually what do that so all right so just close the print preview window because we're not printing actually if you just set your print and just print it directly immediately so if you set your print so it depends on the type of printer that you're using you can be able to set it up and and start printing and apply your paper apply the your, your paper a for but i'm not here to explain i'm not here to print my document because even if i print definitely you're not going to see it okay so the next thing that i'm going to teach you is the okay the next thing i'm going to show you is how to do what export your file is very very important not just designing in coral draw it's knowing how to export your file if you are designing if you are a web designer and sometimes you might like to design a logo that will have a transparent background so that when you place it in any form of background at all any form of uh, background at all it have a transparent background and without having a white background so in it the main important type of two files uh, they normally use in export and once you go to your file and click export if I finish with this work I want to export it I want to save it as a picture then I can decide to type the name I want to use it here you have your different types of file formats PDF Adobe document format Adobe Illustration JPEG Adobe uh, so many so many of them even you have your GP2 JPEG 200 bitmap so you have so many here that you can change this into so many so many one of them but i'm just here to explain just only two for you two important ones jpeg and png jpeg and png okay now let me close this window so i have this window i don't have any background i only have this particular object this particular design this is you see this actually separate separate i have 
this particular type of design that I just did. All right. Okay, and I want to save it. I don't have any background in it. I just want to save it. All the spaces should be transparent, not just leaving on design. So I go to my file, go to my file, I pick export, then I decide to use PNG, just locate your PNG, just portable graphics, uh, portable network graphics, and select on it. You can still look for any other PNG type of file. PNG type of file, there's no other PNG type of file, so if you don't have one PNG type of file, PNG means that PNG is a graphics, is a network graphics kind of design so that any particular object that you place in it is only that particular object that will be displaying without any other port. Uh, background the graphics any particular type of object that you received in PNG the graphics is more higher than the one they place in PNG all right so it depends on what you're doing if you have a small passport you can save it in PNG you can save it in uh, uh, JPEG so it does not matter because passport must have a white background or any kind of background again that you must place in it but logo in terms of logo designing or any other design uh, you can decide to make it transparent. In fact, it's necessary. It's important to make it transparent, or let the person wants not to have transparent color in it. All right. So we'll continue. So you type your name, select your PNG because I want a transparent background, and click what. Type, type your name. I've already typed the name. Your name is already there, so I just click on what. Export. Click on export. Okay, computer should ask me where do I exactly want to export it to. Just type the name. Click on what export. It will go again and come back and bring me something like this. So tell me this is exactly how my work should look like. Remember, what I'm using is Corado X5. Corado X3 on X4. I bring up another thing. I ask you to set it. Please, if you are using Corado X4 or X3. You have to still click OK. There's a way. There's a place you have to uh, select it um, as mash so that it will set it as set. Click um, enable your transparency. Then set it. And once you enable your transparency, enable your mash. If you enable your mash, then click export or click OK. It definitely have to set it for you on transparency. But Corado X5 has already automatically detect that this is a transparent. Uh, uh, object because I did not um, place any object on under it. Then once you just click OK, it will start exporting, and once it's finished exporting, it will save it for you. So we are going to save another file on my desktop again as a p as a JPEG, not PNG this time around. Select on file, select export, then set this to JPEG. Look for where is my JPEG? JPEG, JPEG, JPEG. JPEG JPEG bitmap. Okay, this one is okay, not the 2001. JPEG JPEG bitmap. JPEG JPEG bitmap. Select the same name, then I choose my desktop, then click export, and it will come back again and tell me exactly how you see the difference. The difference is that this one have a white background. So no matter where any other places you want to take it to design anything, this white background you must find a way to remove the whole white background first before you can be able to make use of it. If you're placing it on a, a, a web designing page and you have a blue background on it again if you place this this white background must apply yeah so you click on what click on your okay and you have it in your desktop so let me let's locate my desktop and see the two files so i have the two files here one and two so let me try and open this if i open this one i open this one so you have something like this telling you there is a transparent background so you go back again let's open it with uh, microsoft picture manager so you understand better what I mean so this is it with your transparent background so you can decide to open the second one again so this is it with your white background so it means that if I take this particular two objects okay for example now let me explain let me try and explain tell you I mean better okay let me uh, kind of delete this particular object delete this my design then I place something at the background and give it a let's say a blue I want to start designing on this I want to start writing them designing on this then I go to my desktop I want to make use of these two logos these two logos let me select the two of them copy and go to my coral draw and right click click on paste so I have the two logos just look at the difference the difference is this logo is a 
JPEG logo, why this one is a PNG logo. So if you look at this one now, you have to find out that you don't have any transparent. I can carry this, I can place any other object by the side and just color that object, any other thing. I can decide to send it to the back of that. Okay, behind this particular object, so you have it. So you have, do you understand? So this particular object, I can increase it, I can do it anything I want, but in this one, if I carry it to the back of this, you must be seeing the white background, which it does not look professional. So it looks bad. So most of the times, if you're designing something in, in P, um, Coral Draw Pro, you try and put it in PNG. PNG is much more better, much more, the graphics is higher than a JPEG, and if you save your work, your work brighter, and you are definitely good to go. So I have to explain more other things for you. So what if you are on internet? Is my internet connected? Oh, my internet is not connected, but I have to just explain it. Oh, I don't have internet software. Okay, so I'll just, just explain it to you. Okay, so if you're on your web browser and you want to search for anything and you type to Google and your Google page opens, please, if you're looking for anything, let's assume you're looking for a, a let me say, you're looking for a cap on Google, you type, you type, cap, just put it dot pn. G, please just put it dot png as you mean you want to start using it you want to get this particular uh, picture on information on google then you can be able to use it on Coradro so that it will any kind of clip app that you clip sorry any kind of clip app that you're going to get for your design will have a transparent background and select the one that is transparent Se select the one that is png once you save this one save this one look at the file extension if it is dot png you know that it will not have a transparent background so if you have this kind of picture and you love it so much but it does not is not transparent and you want to remove the transparent background please you have to, you can crop it here maybe the next tutorial i'll show you how to crop pictures but it takes time then I have the other video I have already published and I posted it for you. The, how you can be able to remove your background, this white background on Microsoft Word 2010. It is very, very powerful. It's a powerful program. They, in, they attach that, um, uh, this thing. I've already published it. Just a, a five minutes, a two minutes uh, uh, practice that you just have to partake and you get your background removed. In fact, it's much more easier to remove from Microsoft Word than removing in Coradro. I'll tell you that. I'm not joking. Just put it there. You see your transparency. Just look for the video and you watch it and you find out how to actually do that. So thank you and enjoy and stay tuned because I have more videos that I've got to publish, more designs and continue. So also look at my videos if you are a web designer, if you are a, a, a computer repairs, any other thing. So I have to publish so many of the videos. You can request for any video that you want me to, but take any design that you want me to do the video tutorial for you so that you can be able to get it and design it on your own. Thank you and